est prête. Rends les choses faciles. Et sèche-moi ces larmes de crocodile. So the footage you've just seen has been a couple of months ago working on a Bentley and a Golf R. Funny enough, we have a Golf R back in for a, essentially a new car prep, sorting out a few little minor issues um, from previous applications of coating. So I'll talk you through that shortly. But working on a Mercedes C-Class, this is in for a two-stage minor correction followed by CarPro's two-year warranted coating, wheels off and glass treatment as well. So far, cutting stage complete, haven't got much footage of that recorded because of just time frame, just getting head down, getting cracked on with that. But massive turnaround, it's actually a hard color to capture defects on. It's like a medium gray, as you can see behind me. It's a bit tricky to catch in the light, so it's a bit tricky to film and find the defects. But all we've got to do left is a refining stage. So it's looking pretty, pretty good so far. The cutting has come out really well, not too many defects in this one. It's just needed a real once over going over the cutting stage, make sure we're removing a lot of the deeper marks and then following up with a refining stage just to make sure everything's crisp and clean and then get some solid protection on there so she is protected for the years to come. So Golf R, this is essentially a new car prep. It's not a new car, it's done about three, 4,000 miles. Customer has had it detailed before, um, so the paint is actually very, very thin. Uh, microns on the front end were about 80 microns. You want to be around about 100, 110, 120 mark to be safe. So what we've done is essentially a very, very, very light single stage. Um, almost no correction. You can see there are some deeper lines in the paint, but really what we're looking for is trying to add some more gloss to the paintwork, essentially enhancement. Um, and prepare the paint for a coating. And this has had Gion's five year warranted Duraflex coating they brought out at SEMA last year. Beautiful car, and now looking spotless. Ladies and gentlemen, can I please have your attention? I've just been handed an urgent and horrifying news story. And I need all of you to stop what you're doing and listen.
Mercedes wheels have been fully cleansed inside and out, fully coated inside and out. So we've got a very clean, crisp inside barrel. Obviously behind the spokes coated as well. This is gonna provide a long-term protection, high temperature ceramic coating. The customer is actually providing new center caps. The old ones are quite corroded. As we can see here, they've got some blemishes on the top corners and stuff like that. So customer basically just wanted to replace those. So it looks a lot crisper and cleaner, but definitely well worth the job. So these will be going back on today back on the car. Um, I've cleaned the arches, dressed the arches. What we've got left to do is a light refining stage on the paintwork, try and get some footage of that. And then on to ceramic protection, and that's getting collected tomorrow morning. So we have uh, overnight curation of the coating, and the golf is getting collected tomorrow morning as well. That is pretty much done. Just got to do a few finishing touches, tooth pickery. So it'll be a bit of a late one tonight to get that sorted out. But yeah, let's crack on. It's been a busy, busy week. I sorry for the lack of updates, sorry for the lack of video footage. I've tried to get as much as I can, but just to be on my head down, cracking on with the jobs. Um, beginning of the week, we had a Golf R, which is just behind me. That had a bit of a backstory. It's been detailed in the past. It's had numerous uh, coatings and things like that in the past. Customer was never really 100% happy with them. Uh, a lot of cloudiness from the coating. That's normally where coating hasn't been removed correctly, so it creates like a cloudy effect. But because the car has been polished a few times in the past, machine polish corrected, it left the paint very thin and very fragile. So we have performed a very, very light single stage just to enhance it, bring the gloss back. It hasn't really corrected any of like, the major swells or deep marks in the paintwork. It wasn't too bad to begin with, but it's just enough to prepare the paint, remove the coating and prepare it for the new coating. Also on that, we are now Gion certified. We are a Gion. Accredited, grab these. So, Gion accredited. So we have Duraflex and we have Phobic. These two are accredited only ceramic coatings. They are two layer system offering a five year warranty depending on the paintwork, depending on the condition of the car and the age related vehicle. 
but massive, massive uh, thing for us to have. Really happy to be part of the Gion team, as well as the Car Pro team. Really happy to have them two on board. Um, great brands, really like working together with them, and they provide brilliant products and coatings. So the Golf R had Duraflex, which is the latest coating they brought out at SEMA. Um, very, very nice, very thick, very slick coating, so it works really, really well on the car, makes it really glossy as well. So hopefully the customers can be happy with that one. It has turned around very, very nice, engine bay clean as well, as long with a glass coated with Gion View. So beautiful, beautiful car to have, lovely La Paz Blue. But also this week we've had the um, C-Class. So C-Class has been in for a two-stage minor correction. Um, it wasn't too bad to begin with. It's a obviously like a ceramic grey kind of colour. Hides a lot of the defects, but there were some deeper marks in there. I didn't get any of the before footage. I basically cracked on this week and just got my head down due to a tight time scale with the customers needing the car back. Um, hence why it's 6.30 on a Friday evening, the customer is collecting tomorrow, so doing some final checks on the car. The car has had C Quartz Car Pro uh, C Quartz Professional line, which is a two layer ceramic coating, offering about a two year kind of protection on there. Very hard, very glossy. Um, due to the weather being a bit miserable and a bit cold, I am using the new infrared heat lamps to cure the coating. This is just going to ensure it is properly cured on the paintwork, cuts down the curing time. Instead of waiting 24 hours, it can wait probably about four, five, six hours before the car can actually go outside. It is going to be left overnight. They're not picking it up until tomorrow morning, but it's going to perform better and help the coating last longer. So that's baking on there at the moment. I run around the car, do some final checks. Um, it had received wheels off treatment, so the wheels have been removed and coated inside and out. I used uh, KK Day. KK. Can't talk. So for the wheels on the Mercedes, or oh, almost fell off. Um, I used KKD Revolve. This is a very thick, very, very smelly, like really gives you a headache if you don't wear a mask. Uh, ceramic coating on the wheels, very thick. And that has been sat low, left overnight. That's gonna create a very hard barrier against the, uh, against the dirt, grime, and brake dust, things like that. So that's created inside and out. The customer has got new center caps on the way. Hopefully he will have them when he collects the car tomorrow. So I'll get some final shots of them on, because the other ones are a bit corroded and a bit tatty. Um, and obviously paintwork sorted out, wheel sorted out, also had the glass coated as well. So basically full exterior taken care of. There isn't much plastic trim on these, so he wasn't too worried about getting the plastic sorted out as well. But overall, incredibly busy week, and I hope you enjoy the vlog. I have got a very, very nice car in next week, so hopefully keep the vlog going. Uh, I'm gonna pretty much make these either a weekly vlog or bi-weekly vlog, just to kind of show you what's going on instead of dedicating one to one car um, unless it's a very nice job and a very nice um, turnaround of, of what's going to be done so if you like please subscribe like comment share around with friends and also comment in below what you want to see more of if it's some of the wash stage if it's more the coating stage polishing or how to's or just general q a stuff really just drop a comment down below let me know what you think and i'll see you in the next one cheers Perfect timing. Fish is a